Hello everybody, welcome to Xinsto Quick Tip. Today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to convert a Microsoft Windows 10 local account to a Microsoft account that you can use to log in on any Windows 10 machine, sync your settings, and more. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm currently running Windows 10 in a virtual machine here. Uh, you can see it's running in Oracle VirtualBox. That doesn't really matter, I'm just using this for an example. Uh, this could be your actual computer, or it could be your tablet, so on and so forth. It's going to work exactly the same. So let's go ahead and log in here. As you can see, I have a local account because it just shows my username and it gives me a password to type in. It's not shown an email address or anything like that. All right, so now that we are logged into Windows 10, let's go ahead and create ourselves a Microsoft account if you don't already have one. The easiest way to do this is to go to Settings, click on Accounts, and sign in with a Microsoft account instead. As you can see, this is my local admin account. And it's a local account right there. Uh, once I change this over to a Microsoft account, it will update this and it'll say Microsoft account. So we're going to sign in with a Microsoft account instead. This window is going to pop up. and it's going to ask us for our email or phone number and password. If you already have these inform if you already have this information, you can go ahead and enter it. Uh, just to let you know, you have a Microsoft account already if you use Office 365, OneDrive, Outlook.com, Skype, Windows, Xbox, Bing, MSN, and uh, some Microsoft online shopping. So since I don't already have a Microsoft account, I'm going to create one. And now remember, for this to work, you do need to be connected to the internet because it does have to go out and actually create the account. All right, so I'm going to fill out this information. If I didn't already have an email address, I could always get an email address. This will give you a Outlook.com uh, email. And since this is an external account, uh, Microsoft wants to just make sure that I own it. So that's what they're going to do. Same thing. All right, and next. All right, so we just want to check anything that we want. If you want to let Microsoft Advertising use your account information, and if you want to, uh, Microsoft to send promotional offers, I uncheck both of these. And next. All right, so this is very important. You need to type in your old password so that way. Microsoft Windows can link your account together with your local account. And as it says right here, just to make sure it's really you. Because the last thing you need is somebody who just happened to come across your machine unlocked and put in their account details and now suddenly you can't get into your machine, but they can. This is why it's also very important to have a Windows password set and then we'll click next alright so we need to check our email for a message from Microsoft and it also wants us to set up a pin I don't really recommend setting a pin just because it's four digits or it could be four digits uh, you know, I, I don't recommend it. I, I recommend sticking with a password. So we're going to skip this step. All right. So it just says I need to verify my identity.
and it's going to ask me for a code that I received in my email. So let me get the code. All right, I got my code. It's 6214. Oops. And next. All right, it's verified. So now, as you can see, it's showing my email address, which means that I'm using a Microsoft account, and I can manage my billing info, family settings, subscriptions, and so forth. And just to show you, I'm just going to come down here, and I'm going to sign out. You don't have to sign out, but I'm signing out just to show you that is indeed, there it is, my Microsoft account. And that's it. That's how you convert a local account to a Microsoft account in Windows 10. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.